Hi guys. Today I will show you how the electric engine cooling pump works. This pump is used in Toyota hybrid cars. The pump is manufactured by Eisen. It is aluminum and plastic. These two parts are connected with plastic clips. When installed on the engine, it is pulled together with the pump mounting bolts. A gasket is installed here. Here we see the electrical pump control connector. The pump rotor sits freely on the axle. To remove the rotor, you need to remove the rubber ring and metal washer. Then you need to apply force, because there are very strong magnets here. The rotor itself is a magnet with an impeller, rotating on the axle without any bearings. Often this rotor delaminates and jams in the pump. Now let's remove the aluminum casing. The casing is also a cooling radiator for the pump electronics. This is what the inside of the pump looks like. Here is the gasket for the seal. The pump control board is located on top. It is fastened with three screws. On the top of the board, there are two strips of thermal paste for heat dissipation. Four contacts go from the control connector. Ground. 12 volts and two control contacts. Let's unscrew the board. For convenience, I have already bitten off the contacts from below. The board also says Eisen. On the back side, we see three pump control transistors. The thermostat serves to cool them. Let's put the board aside and look at the pump stator. It shows three electric motor control contacts. This pump can be diagnosed via text stream. In the active test section, you can force the pump to turn on and compare the required pump speed with the current one. If it does not match, then the pump is faulty. The presence of error codes may also indicate a pump malfunction. That's all. Thanks for watching.